Uh, we're going to call and title this thing um, Infectious Disease. What has infected Americans? Stupidity. Right there's two of them. You people that helped crash the economy of the United States of America. That's domestic treason. You can see for yourself right there what's that say. Let's go over here and let's go, let's go look at this for a minute. This really bugs me from the beginning. Every American basically understood that this was a fraud to begin with. I said back in March that this was the biggest hoax perpetrated upon the American people since that oceanfront property out there in Arizona. The same thing. And these were the two idiots that rushed to the office to tell the president that they're, they're going to see all these dead Americans in the United States. You not only have the World Health Organization, but you have the Center for Disease Control down there in Atlanta voicing the same concerns, trying to justify their jobs, get more money, just like everybody else in the United States. It's a bunch of crap. And what what bugs me about this, about them people being still in office, they're getting paid. They're getting paid to fool the American people. Yep, Dr. Fucci, or whatever his name is, admits he and Dr. Bricks were the two experts who persuaded Trump to kill the economy with their garbage predictions of 2.2 million deaths. Now, I don't mind them ordering those 100,000 body bags if they, if they put Democrats in it. They got their numbers from the Imperial College professor, Neil Ferguson. Well, he's a, he's a winner. And he has a long record of, of weird-ass predictions. He was wrong about the bird flu, mad cow disease, swine flu, and now coronavirus. But they yet. These guys took these predictions as gospel, and it crashed the economy. Yeah, he, uh, he was driving the antivirus strategy back in 2005. He predicted 200 million people would die from bird flu, and only 282 died. Okay, I'll put a link to this. You guys go look at this. But this guy's an idiot. Uh, I'm tired of the American people being infected by stupidity, fake news, that's coming over their internet or for getting it on TV or where they're getting it. And for the CDC to say, well, we're going to count all the deaths as coronavirus. How asinine does that sound to you, that statement? That is completely crazy. Well, he, he may have a record of grossly exaggerating the disease predictions, but so does the CDC, and so does WHO. And both of them need to be uh, punished extremely. And for, uh, for the United Nations, they need to get the hell out of the United States and out of our lives. Dr. Fucci should have been fired years ago, and now we have 30 million Americans out of work because of his ridiculous assessments. You know that such of these acts, they qualify domestic terrorism? Yeah. Well, I'll try to zoom this, zoom this in. It probably won't. Probably won't. But it's, it's, uh, it's, an, it's when somebody appears to, or, or to be intended to intimidate or clear a civilian population to influence the policy of a government by intimidation or coercion, uh, it occurs primarily within the territorial jurisdiction of the United States. These people are crooks. They need to be punished for the same. That's domestic terrorism. If you go in and you cough on somebody right now, guess what? You're domestic terrorism. This son of a SOB is no different. And neither is Dr. Bricks or the, the World Health Organization or the CDC. Like, like like Chicken Little running around saying the sky's falling, the sky's falling. I'm sorry. And then and then the these these people, 
here's something else that they're doing. They're going around saying all these people are going to volunteer to get this uh, flu vaccine, this virus. They're going to volunteer. Volunteer. That's what they're stating. But that is to get the American people to say, oh, well, all these people are going to do it. It should be okay for us. Don't fall into that category. You've been brainwashed enough. Don't, don't, don't. Don't get worse. Please don't get worse. We're infected by lack of common sense. Now, President Trump tried to stay away from that for a couple weeks there at the beginning. But then all the pressure, he goes, well, I better do something. Well, this is one of those times when you just should have let it run its course. But it's time to get all this stuff in, in on, on to a federal court. Charge these sons of guns. And let's get, let's get this straightened out. This fake news stuff, I told you before, it was put into the National Defense Authorization Act back in 2012. And two damn Republicans put it in there that they could do this fake news. That kind of makes you wonder. Now it's time to start changing all of our laws back the way they used to be. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry, but... We have really been infected, and it's not the flu.